Hey everyone, this is Bruce Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Felix the Cat. We finished off World 1 in the last video, let's time for World 2. And this time around, you got a, got a little differently. At least in terms of gameplay. You're now jumping around, pressing A as quickly as you can, just to save float, and you're currently on an umbrella. Got an umbrella in your hand right there, and... Basically punching out what's ever in your way, including a bunch of cannons, birds, things of that nature. It, now you may remember that last time I was I was a I had the car form. If I die here, I won't lose it. So don't worry about that. The aerial stages have their own form. The uh, water stages also have their own form. They're basically four different types of gameplay each with their own levels throughout the game and in this in these kind of areas you have three levels you have the umbrella and the punch glove you have the this balloon and its pies and you also have an airplane that shoots bullets straight ahead which you're going to see right now Airplane is obviously the easiest control to actually shoot straight, as opposed to the pies from the balloons that have the, that go straight down and only cover a limited range. These do do still do a limited range, but it not it's not as bad. I might as well go into some more detail involving the cat heads because I didn't really seem to do that last time. It appears that every five that you collect. Every time you, every time the number you have you have collected is a multiple of five, it ends or basically ends in five. You have the three milk bottles pop up, and when it's a multiple of ten or it basically ends in zero, you get the heart. When you're at maximum form, you just get either the milk or the heart like every ten. I think that's kind of how it works. It, it acts a little differently once you're at maximum level, probably just to keep you from gorging on all those extra lives. And now we're inside a pyramid because, well, this part takes place in Egypt. And notice that I was in, uh, I was a uh, car last time and I switched back to it. And that kitty head had 500 points in it. Made it worth getting. The bats are probably the worst enemies because they fly around in a um, semi-circle on their way back which makes them somewhat annoying. They're a little easier to take out with the tank because you don't have the jump to hit them. And those dog heads are the worst because they shoot out miniature dog head missiles every few seconds. And sometimes you'll be right in the flat path of one of their projectiles. Okay, there's nothing here, so... Let's go back and enter this magic bag. Might as well go ahead and get the milk bottles while we're at it. Another extra life. Unlike the uh, enemies in the house that we saw earlier, the black ones, these white ones actually will fall off of platforms. So you want to be careful. And there is another secret in that kitty head right there. want to be very careful here. Whoa. And I managed to get that one just in time. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I do not like these enemies very much, and that is why. Thankfully, this stage wasn't very long. I did my research, and I found out that the name of the first boss was Poindexter. And the one you are seeing right now, up there chasing after the magic bag in that picture, is Rock Bottom. We'll be meeting him at the boss level really soon. Alright. Rule 2-3. There is a platform that we can loop back to. And it's a good thing I did because I was able to get the 
milk bottles right there. Go ahead and get some uh, cat heads before we go into that magic bag. And you may have noticed that, yes, you can actually hit down enemies before they, off they fall off screen. Repeatedly. I always consider that to be pretty weird. Though it is some pretty, pretty, something you can entertain people with if you do a time attack of this game. <laughs> just, just make something for, um... What's that, what's that, what's that, um... Side called? I can't remember to save my life. Whatever that time attack one is. And that was another one-up that I just found. I actually found that during the practice run, so... Be glad you have it. And... Yeah, boy, I'm really hating these dog heads. Those narrow quarters that I went through, they're easier to attack enemies with, with the car, and not the tank. Nevertheless, as long as you keep your distance, you can hit them with the tank. And this is rock bottom. You want to avoid the bullets that he shoots out. Thankfully, if you can time to a science, pretty much like I did, you can take care of him very easily. His bullets are the only attack. And that's basically it for... World 2. Yeah, that's right. Laugh it up, Felix. You're not done yet. You're not Triple H. You can't tell me what to do. You can't tell me what to expect. And that was Master Cylinder there in the uh, picture up top for World 3. We'll be seeing him in the next video. So, until then, this is Prince Watercrest. Take care, stay safe, thanks for watching.